the Shaw Kirby Simo 7 and welcome back to Mario Kart Wii. In the last part we did the Star Cup on uh, Mirror Mode and today we are going to do the Special Cup on Mirror Mode with Funky Kong. Let's get funky. Ah, that was terrible really. That was terrible. I would never say funky. That's so back, well way back then. <laughs> Alright. Well this is much better than St. Honk. I hate that word. I really hate that word. It reminded me of, of a really old anime that I watched. Not, well, not old, but like in the 90s or something like that. Well, maybe early 2000s, but there was this anime that I watched. And, well, I might as well tell you what the name of the anime was, but it was called Sailor Moon. I mean, it was pretty much popular back then, um, Sailor Moon. And when I looked back at it, it was kind of a cheesy show, but I mean, I actually wasn't really a big fan of it back then. But... Anyways, I don't want to talk about this and I'm still going for the entire video, but yeah, um, and one of the episodes I remember, um, I don't know, I don't know, but, um, this one girl said, um, or how to, uh, I can't remember, this one girl, she saw a guy, yeah, like a cute guy, and she's like, what a honk, I'm like, oh my god, that is such a weird, uh, it's so weird, it's so cheesy and weird. I mean, I understand that the anime was like back then, but still, it's it's kind of weird just hearing it now. I'm like, wow, it's so weird hearing, you know, really weird words in the anime. I mean, I find it weird. I mean, I mean, I'm not used to you know hearing it around now because well, I'm not born back then, but still, it's kind of weird just hearing that word "honk." I hate that word. I even hate the word "sweetheart." I hate that word. But yeah, uh, it was like I'm <laughs> back then. I'm like, wow. But yeah, um, earlier today, um, I was looking at the Nintendo's website of uh, upcoming games and all that, and, uh, and their dates and when they're gonna come. And yeah, like in the last episode, I said that Kid Urka is gonna come out in March 23rd, and I'm really excited for that. I can't wait to get that. I mean, I have enough money to buy it, so when it comes out, I am definitely gonna buy it. <laughs> I don't know when, but. I'll definitely buy. Maybe not the day it releases, but maybe maybe um, maybe a week after, I guess, or a couple days after the release. I don't know when, but whenever I go somewhere shopping, I guess. But yeah, and also Mario Party Nine comes out in March 11th. So yeah, that's really cool. Um, my sister is actually kind of um, really. Really um, excited for that game to come out. I don't know. I read the description of that, and honestly, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure if the game will be like a lot better than the other regular Mario Party games. I'm not sure because I saw the trailer of it and the description of it. It said that there's this one mechanic that all the players ride on this vehicle in the board, and each turn the captain drives the vehicle or something like that, like for it to returns. And like during the border ba boss battles. And I don't know how I feel about feel about that. I honestly like the just the classic Mario Party feel to it. You know, just playing on a board and just um, after everybody's turn is up, you play a mini game. And yeah. Now I feel like playing Mario Party 2 now. I don't have all the Mario Party games. The the earliest, or the oldest one I have is Mario Party 2. I don't have the first one, the fourth one, the sixth one, and that's it. I have the second, the third, the fifth, seventh, and eighth. And that's all I have for now. And also the DS one and the advanced one. I don't have those either, so. The DS one looks kind of cool. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the best. But it looks kind of cool at first, but I don't know. It, at some stuff, I'm not sure. I didn't look at the whole game or I've never seen any playthroughs of it, but still, I would at least like to try Mario Party DS. I mean, it sounds like a decent game to play once in a while. But I do like the commercial for it. I don't know why, but I like the song it played during the USA commercial. It was a really cool commercial. I, I, I do like it. You know, like it's simple, but yeah, the music kind of just caught you. I don't know why, but I love the music in that commercial. Speaking of commercials, I've been looking at a lot of old Nintendo commercials lately. There were like a bunch of them I like. <laughs> like there were some commercials that I remembered. 
like there was this Pick Me Two commercial from the USA. Oh my god, I love that commercial. I find that commercial really cute and funny. Um, I guess I can put it in the description if I remember to look for it and put it in the description of the video. But the Pick Me Two commercial. Oh my god. I love it. it. A bunch of guys, or a bunch of people dressed in um, Pikmin costumes, like they're different Pikmin colors. They're mostly midgets and dwarves and all that, like a lot of small people. But still, um, I just find it kind of cute, you know, when they in a commercial they're saying hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. <laughs> and I find it really, really funny because just the way they sound, like it just, I don't know, it just really funny like they're running around in the city trying to look for hot dogs and <laughs> there's this one part this purple pikmin pushes this guy out of the way <laughs> like <laughs> he just literally pushes him out of the way i'm like wow i never noticed that small little detail in that commercial like i never knew that pikmin pushed like a, a person out of the way but they come to the talk dog stand and the guy's looking at all these pikmins and these pikmin people they're just like hot dog hot dog hot dog <laughs> And they were like swaying back and forth, which was kind of funny. It was like they were trying to hypnotize him or something like that, but they're not. But still. And then once the pigmen people got the hot dog, they're like yay! And they kept saying hot dog, and they go back to the owner, or as you might say, the human or, or the um, the normal version of Captain Alamar. Or, I don't know. There were two pe two guys, so I'm guessing they represent Alamar. Well, Alamar and Louis. But they brought the hot dog, hot dog back to the owner, or the captain, or whatever you want to call this guy. It, he was like a teenager, young adult guy, but still, okay, whatever. They brought the hot dog to him, and he said that he asked for mustard. And the other guy's like, make that too, please. And so the pigments go back around the city, say, mustard, 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 mustard. I love that commercial. It just brings back memories. And well, after watching the Pikmin 2 commercial, it looks like more commercials, like Nintendo commercial. Mostly Nintendo um, GameCube um, commercials. I don't know why. Nite the Nintendo GameCube commercials, I don't know, they're more, they're more funnier than, well, the Wii commercials. I don't know, you don't see, you don't see much of that anymore. You don't see much of uh, funny commercials for Nintendo. I mean, few of them, but not as funny as the GameCube era. The GameCube commercials were, uh, really funny. They were really funny. My, uh, my favorite was the Pikmin 2, obviously. Well, I don't know. I find that one cute. But there was another commercial. That it was a Mario, Mario Golf Toaster Tour for the GameCube. Um, the guy, he uh, was afraid to go into the bunkers. And <laughs> his friend was saying, well, your ball's right there in the bunkers. He's like, I don't see it. He's like, yes, it is. I'm pointing at it. He's like, no, it isn't. Yeah. It's right there. It has your name on it. Oh, whoa, I thought that was the final lap. Or, jeez, I'm doing this thing again, like in the previous episode. Oh, well, anyways, um, so yeah, the guy was afraid to go in the bunkers. And he tried to, but he's like, I can't. <laughs> he's gonna get me. And if you guys played Mario Golf Tokyo Tour, there, was, there are change ups in bunkers. Cool. Once in, not all of the bunkers, but the, in some levels, there are um, change ups in the bunkers. And yeah, it was really funny. And there was another commercial for Mario Golf, but it was a short one. The guy attempted to get the golf ball out of the bunker, but he heard... But, um, in a chainsaw perspective, you hear chain noises. And it was chasing the guy. He ran off, you know, yelling like a little sissy girl. It was really funny. I actually like that commercial. It was, like, really funny. And then there's another commercial that I saw, or remembered, well, yeah, I was looking at was Mario Superstar Base Baseball. One of my uh, commercials from that was, or one of the, yeah, one of the commercials from Mario Superstar Baseball was when Bowser was trying to um, bat a ball, or hit a ball, the, the little batting machine that shoots um, the baseballs out. He got hit from it, and he decided to just... Well, knock down the baseball machine. Or the, yeah, the baseball machine. Then get that throws baseball. I, I find that kind of funny. Yep. It's just really funny. Especially seeing um, the mascots of the Mario characters. And why am I having a bad time doing a, I don't know, a little boost in the beginning. I don't know why. I had a hard time with that today. I don't know, maybe I'm distracted. Oh, don't. No! Come on. Are you kidding me? 
Ah! Now we're in 12th place. That's not good. And while a lot of people fell right there. <laughs> well, I'm kind of glad they did. Alright, let's use the golden mushroom. Yeah! Dang, I want to push Luigi off the edge. That'll be really nice. Okay, 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 okay. This is mirror mode. Mirror mode. Mirror mode. No, no, no. Okay, good. Every time I do mirror mode on Rainbow Road, I always forget that, that ramp that, you know, kind of leads towards this little cannon thing. I always forget it's on the left side, not on the right. Yeah. I don't play mirror mode that much, so sometimes I do forget where the routes are. But yeah. Now I feel like watching commercials again. Well, not only that, but... There was, uh, was a couple days ago I found this video. Actually, yeah, by this YouTuber. I don't know who his name is, but he did like top 10 mini games on Mario Party 1, 2, and 3 so far. And geez, oh, peace! And like every Saturday, he does uh, new episodes of these top 10 mini games of Mario Party until the release of Mario Party 9. Yeah, he's doing it until the release of Mario Party 9. And wow. The um, I don't know, he's just really funny how he commentates on the mini game, but it's really funny. Especially my favorite was Mario Party 2, because I love Mario Party 2. It's like one of my favorites. Because I love the mini games in that, and most of the mini games that he chose were my favorites. And some of them were like the hard ones, but I love them. Like, one of the mini games in Mario Party 2 was Sneak and Snore. Well, I don't know, if you guys ever played Mario Party 2, if you guys know what I'm talking about, the Sneak and Snore mini game, that is my favorite. But I'm surprised he didn't put any battle mini games because honestly, I like the battle mini games in Mario Party 2. Well, my top favorite is Bowser's Big Glass. I do not know why. It's just my favorite. I just love how the characters' reaction when they're about to get blown up. It's kind of funny. I love that mini game, despite that it's a guessing mini game, like a lucky mini game. Like you never know if you're gonna win or not. Just one of those mini games that you just guess something and if you get it wrong, you're out. Like, you never know if you're gonna win or not. It's just a random mini game. <laughs> but yeah, that's my favorite. My. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's my favorite battle mini game in Mario Party 2. And I love it when. Oh, uh, not Bowser. Uh, Mario gets blown up. Oh, come on! Why am I falling so much in this level? And why did I say level? I meant. Um, course. Oh, you, you've gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. Okay. But yeah. I love Bowser's Big Blast, or I'm not sure if it's called that. In Mario Party 4, there is a similar mini game like that. It's exactly the same thing, but except that it has a different title. No, I think it's called something else in Mario Party 2. I'm not exactly sure, but whatever. We're almost done here. Are you? Why am I having such much? Ah! Why am I having so much bad luck here? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Please, no! No! Don't! Don't go ahead of me, please. Don't go ahead of me. Don't. No, no. Oh, please, please. Oh my God, I I think I did really bad here. Oh God, please, please let me get at least a star rank. Oh God. Uh, no. I did really horrible in that course. I did really horrible. Oh my God. Oh, please, 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 please. please. Oh my God, star rank. Oh my God, I'm surprised. I am really surprised. I thought I was going to get an A. Oh my god. I am surprised. I am surprised. Thank you, the Kirby Gods. Anyway, we got the Phantom. Nice. I love the name of it. <laughs> oh, I'm such a nerd. Anyways, guys. I think we're going to stop here for today. So, in the next part, we're going to do the Shell Cup on Mirror Mode. So, pretty much, at least one more part to go in Mario Party. Oh, Mario Kart. Gosh. I'm thinking way too much of Mario Party now. I figured that I might as well play a Mario Party game right now. Alright guys, I'll see you guys later. So, this is Shell Kirby 77 saying bye!